I can't believe I'm saying this. I can't believe this is what, you know, we're all so shocked. It's so horrible. My parents are like, oh, Vicky, come on now. You know, it's just so bad. We can't even, finally we're brave enough to say it. So I wrote a song about it for the people who can't read. Or, well, I guess you have to know English. <laughs> When I, I was, I got an email that said that there was a tea party at Santa Monica Pier, the first one here, and, and Tony Katz was there, Michael Fell, I thought I was going to get shot, because I'd never been at a protest, and I read the email, it told me what I could put on my sign, you know, and so I put, we don't want no stinking socialism, because, and so I went out there, and I was scared to death, I was an hour early, there was like two people there, and I was like, is this it? And then like 20 came, and they asked me to, they had asked me to speak, and I'm like, I don't know anything about politics, but I know what's right and wrong, I know what's good and evil, and uh, thanks to my private Christian school, I had to read George Orwell in seventh grade. Yeah, at 1984, y'all should read it, I read it twice. Uh, once as a child, once as a grown-up. Um, anyway, I go out there and I read from the Webster's Dictionary the definition of capitalism, socialism, and communism. Basically, capitalism is freedom, socialism, the government controls part of stuff, and communism, the government controls everything. And I don't know if you noticed, but our government is trying to control everything! And I am super mad that the, that the mainstream media brainwashed the ignorant masses into voting for a communist! It seems these days I'm in a haze and I can't concentrate on things, can't eat or sleep, feel incomplete, kind of scared and creepy. I look over my shoulder lots and shudder when I watch TV. I bite my nails and cuticles and watch my words very carefully. Flag at whitehouse.gov, do you remember that? Yeah, yeah. They, Obama asked us to report our friends and neighbors who were disagreeing with Obamacare. No, I'm an American, okay? I don't turn in my neighbors for what they're thinking. So I, I turned myself in twice. I bite my lip a lot and fidget with the buttons on my blouse. Why? Because there's a communist living in the White House. Why aren't people shocked or something? Why aren't people up in arms? Does anyone read history or see red flags or hear alarms? The streets are filled with deaf and dumb as I squeak like a mouse. There's a communist living in the White House! My parents read my husband really misses me. My parents think I've gone crazy. Only Glenn Beck understands me. And of course, Sean Hannity and Huckabee. And Michelle Malkin and Andrew Braveheart and Ann Coulter and uh, Mark Levin. But you know, besides those three and the sweet people who drink the tea. There is no one else who can see the communists living in the White House. Now you may say, do I have any facts to support my supposition? <laughs> Where do I start? Uh, his mother was a communist. His father was a communist. When they abandoned him, his grandparents were communists and introduced him to his childhood mentor, Frank Davis, who was a communist. He had Marxist professors. He uh, worked for ACORN. He taught a course on Saul Alinsky. He was friends with William Ayers. He uh, appointed Van Jones the avowed communist, we didn't get to elect him into the White House. I don't think a, a I don't think, I, I don't think a capitalist president would appoint a communist advisor. Um, he um, went to a church for 20 years with uh, Jeremiah Wright, who was not preaching Christianity. He was preaching black liberation theology, which is Marxism. He, um, he was friends with William Ayers, did I already say that one? Um, Brenda, what are some more uh, facts? When he got, what? When he got into office, he, um, oh, when he was on the campaign trail, he said to Joe the plumber, spread the wealth, which is a direct quote from the Communist Manifesto written by Karl Marx and that other guy. When he got into office, he took over the banks and the cars and the, and then, and then he took over health care, even though he didn't want him to, and he 
up by bribes and then he um by the way all of our politicians are corrupt and tax cheats like Rangel and Geithner and we're so used to it we're like yeah so what is that about we're supposed to have honest decent people we look up to in office when did we get so apathetic that we just like yeah they're all corrupt that's bull Just try to keep my eyes shut till this goes away and I awake to a happier day when my ukulele does not play this song of dire distress and this may, this song called, there's a communist living in the White House. Everybody, there's a communist living in the White House. Everybody, there's a communist living in the White House. What are we going to do about it? Okay, I just have one more thing to say. When I was in my private school and I was learning that creation is God's word and evolution is an unproven theory, and I was learning to love my country and that the founding fathers respected God and that Leviticus 26 says that blessed is the nation that obeys God and the nation that does not obey God he will not protect anymore. When I was learning that, the rest of my generation was being brainwashed into atheism and Marxism. And my school told me communism won't take over by force because of the Second Amendment. It'll creep in by sex, drugs, rock and roll, the breakup of the family unit. And it happened in my lifetime. So we're here to stop it. And we've woken up. We took our freedom for granted, and we're not anymore. I grew up in Miami, so I know a little bit about communism. Um, I dated a boy named Angel Otero, in English it's Angel, and I said, Angel, where's your dad? And he said, he's in a, a prison in Cuba. And I said, why? And he said, for resisting communism. And then I asked my neighbors, I live there now in Miami again, my hometown. I said, what is it like to grow up in a communist country? And I'm so glad you told everyone. And, they, and the, my neighbor said, well, I'll tell you, in kindergarten, they tell the kids to bow their heads and pray and ask God for candy. And when the little kids open their eyes, there's no candy there. And then they tell them to pray to Castro and ask for candy. And when they open their eyes, there's candy there. And I will not let my country become communist. So we're going to vote and we're